What is happening, Crypto Crew? It is your boy Aaron from the Bitcoin Bros coming back at you with another cryptocurrency video. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. We do have new cryptocurrency videos coming up every single day. And guys, make sure to hit that bell notification. That is the important part. That is how you get updated on all of our new videos. We send you guys all the new Bitcoin, altcoin, and cryptocurrency news every single day. We definitely keep you guys up to date in this crazy crypto market. And thank you guys for all the love and support you have been showing the channel. We do have over 8 thousand subscribers now thank you guys so much for that we did not expect to grow as fast as we've grown we are going to be giving guys a giveaway at 10k subscribers there will be more details come out that in the future guys so make sure to stay tuned for that giveaway we'll be doing that at 10k subscribers and before we get into this video i do want to show you guys our affiliate link for i trust capital is right down here in the description below if you sign up with our affiliate link guys you do get your first month free and this is completely tax-free crypto gains this is a crypto ira so make sure to check them out if you guys want to and today guys we will be talking about bitcoin and for all transparency guys i know we have a lot of altcoin videos but bitcoin is our biggest holding percentage wise we do hold a lot of different altcoins that we do believe in some altcoins we believe in more than others but bitcoin is our biggest holding over time guys we have known bitcoin to outperform the rest of the crypto market guys we've been in this since 2016 so we have seen a lot of these altcoins come and go we have seen altcoins that pump back in 2017 and 2018 that haven't pumped yet really we have seen um, altcoins that really didn't pump back in 2017 2018 have been pumping like crazy this year and guys when we went in that bear market of 2018 guys after that 2018 year these altcoins got hit pretty pretty hard you know bitcoin stayed solid bitcoin went down about 80 percent of its value but a lot of these altcoins lost 95 to 99 percent of their value so that's just something to keep in mind if you guys don't think there's going to be another bear market you know maybe you don't think you should worry about it because in the bull market guys these altcoins do very very well but bitcoin in a bear market and over time if you, you know take bitcoin over a five six seven year period it has outperformed mostly any other cryptocurrency guys so just something to keep in mind this is one of the most stable cryptos guys and i'm not trying to be a bitcoin maxi or anything but it's just something to keep in mind that this is the most stable cryptocurrency over time that we have seen so far so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video bitcoin is around thirty eight thousand dollars eight hundred and thirty four i'll give you guys an updated price prediction at the end of the video so make sure to stay tuned for that and the market cap is around 727 billion the bottom of the past 24 hours has been 40 billion and circling supply of bitcoin is 18.7 billion bitcoin tokens currently guys so yeah let's just go ahead and get into it uh we know bitcoin has been around for a very very long time since 2019 or 2009 so about 12 years now guys so it's the oldest crypto guys so it has the most you know price points to look at the most data to look at guys so yeah bitcoin's been around for a while let's go ahead and get in some of these recent news articles guys the world bank says it cannot assist el salvador bitcoin implementation the world bank said on wednesday it cannot assist el salvador's bitcoin implementation given environmental and transparency shortcomings. we are cons committed to helping el salvador in numerous ways including for currency transparency and regulatory process said a world bank spokesperson via email while the government did approach us for assistance on bitcoin this is not something the world bank can support given the environmental and transparency shortcomings guys i don't know this is just more fud and i understand why they aren't going to help el salvador guys because they haven't figured out a way how they can make money on bitcoin that's really what it comes down to the world bank has not figured out how they can get into bitcoin and make money on it guys so they are saying that they cannot get into it because it's the environmental and transparency shortcomings and i don't think there are any transparency shortcomings with bitcoin guys you can literally google bitcoin you can literally go on youtube and learn about bitcoin it's very very transparent guys it's math there's literally a github page you can go in and see how the code works exactly guys this is open source stuff like they can't say it's not transparent they can't say there's no transparency it is perfectly transparent 
I mean, it's more transparent than our current banking system. For example, guys, I want to go and show you this Reddit post. This guy says, my bank called me a day to tell me they don't support their big buy, uh, clients buying Bitcoin. This very same thing happened to me, guys. My bank account was shut down. And I've had multiple bank accounts shut down within the past five, six years because I've been buying cryptocurrency, guys. And they don't say it outright. They'll close my account down and I'll call the bank and say, hey, why are you guys closing my account down? And they'll say, they'll give me some reason, uh, suspicious activity, but they'll never come and directly tell me it's because you're crypt buying and purchasing cryptocurrency. And it's crazy, guys, because Bitcoin is the number one uh, asset in the past 10 years. And it's like they're trying to protect us from Bitcoin and cryptocurrency when a lot of people are becoming millionaires off this stuff. A lot of people are changing their, their family's life off of cryptocurrency, guys. It is completely insane. And when they sit here and say transparency, guys, when my bank shuts down my bank account for no reason, they won't tell me why. That's not very transparent to me. Bitcoin cannot be controlled. Bitcoin is decentralized. That is why the World Bank does not like it, guys. That is basically what this is. This is just complete FUD. I love what El Salvador is doing. I hope that they uh, are able to implement Bitcoin. I wish them the best in everything they're trying to do over there with the Bitcoin uh, being able to buy as legal tender. I just hope that goes very well. That will be big for the crypto space, in my opinion. And we can see how the narrative has changed for Bitcoin, guys, over time. In 2010, nobody used it. 2012, only computer, computer news used it. 2013, it was for drug dealers. In 2014, it was for money launderers. And then in 2017, it was for gamblers. Uh, and then 2019, only a small population of the, uh, uses it. And then only small companies and now only small countries, guys. So we can see where it's going. This is very inevitable, guys. We don't know how long it's going to take, but we will have Bitcoin involved around the whole world, guys. And these countries are going to have to jump on board or they're just going to be too late. So it's inevitable, guys. We will see it happening. And then this is basically just a meme I wanted to share with you guys. This is somebody's dad saying, are you winning, son? He said, hope, dad, we are taking the global financial inf infrastructure with some friends. And that's basically everybody in the cryptocurrency community, everybody that's doing DeFi, everybody that's in Bitcoin, everybody that is a, a community member in crypto that believes in crypto, guys. This is basically what we were doing. We were re-architecting the global financial infrastructure. It needs to be re-architected, guys. It's broken. And, I mean, this is good, guys. I mean, it's not... Bitcoin versus Ethereum or Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin versus all these altcoins or altcoins versus, you know, each other. That's not what it is, guys. It's Bitcoin versus the global financial institutions. It's Bitcoin versus gold. It's Bitcoin versus these traditional uh, systems, guys. That's really what it is. So I feel like people need to just switch their mind to that. And it's cryptocurrency versus, you know, the traditional systems, guys. So the legacy systems, we got to get them out of here. So let's go ahead and get into my price prediction, guys. In the past year, Bitcoin is up 310%. Past month, we're down 16%. In the past week, we were down 3%. In the past 24 hours, we were down about 3%, guys. So in the immediate short term, guys, I'm expecting Bitcoin to go down to about 37,000. I think we could potentially go down there in the next couple of days. There's a futures gap right at about 37,000. So I'm expecting a quick wick down there to cover that uh, futures gap back up. But I don't expect us to go back down to these 35,000, even 30,000 levels, guys. I'm expecting Bitcoin to hit 50,000 this month. I've been telling you guys this for a very, very long time. I think we're going to blow past that $42,000 resistance level. And I think we're going to shoot right back up to 50,000, guys. That's really what I believe. I think there's just been so much big news for Bitcoin that has been coming out lately. Michael Saylor has been buying billions and billions of dollars of this stuff, guys. He's bought even more in the past couple of weeks. We have El Salvador uh, accepting this as legal tender. And there's been people using the Lightning Network already to purchase things over there in El Salvador, guys. That's it's huge. And we have so many people speaking out on behalf of Bitcoin. Uh, there was some big uh, hedge funds managers that allocated us some of their position to Bitcoin. Guys, there's just been so much good news. There's always going to be FUD, guys, but I just think Bitcoin will hit 50K at the end of this month. I could be completely wrong. Obviously, we could go down to $30,000, but I do not expect us to go down that low. And if we go down to $30,000 and go through that level, a lot of people are saying 20000 is this next level. But I just don't see us going down that slow, guys. There has been so much... You know, great news has came out, and I do believe we are still in a bull market, guys. I don't believe it is the bear market. I think this is just a correction, guys. I really do. So, 
that is my short-term price prediction, guys. And this year, I'm expecting Bitcoin to hit 100 grand sometime this year, guys. Quarter four this year, I'm expecting Bitcoin to at least hit 100 grand. I know on a lot of our other videos, we talk about Willy Woo price predictions. He's saying, I think, 288K for Bitcoin this year or early next year. So we could potentially see Bitcoin hit 200K, guys. But I'm going to just be very conservative. I think we will hit 100K Bitcoin. I do have laser eyes. So that is my price prediction, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Bitcoin in the comment section below. Do you think Bitcoin will hit 100K this year? Let me know. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is Aaron from the Bitcoin Bros. That's all I have for today, guys. I am out, and you have a great rest of your day.